Good morning. On behalf of Department of Civil Engineering, Janssen's Institute of Technology, Coimbatore, I welcome you all to this webinar course on Artificial Intelligence and Environmental Engineering. Hope you are all safe at home. Stay home, stay safe. This is Yel Agnes Preeti, Assistant Professor, Department of Civil Engineering, Janssen's Institute of Technology, Coimbatore. Once again, I welcome you all to this course. Today, in this course of Artificial Intelligence in Environmental Engineering, we are going to see what is environmental engineering, then the need of artificial intelligence in environmental engineering. Then we are going to see some applications like AI in water treatment and management, artificial intelligence in waste, wastewater treatment and management, artificial intelligence in pollution control. Now let's get started to the session. First, let us see what is environmental engineering. Environmental engineering is a sub-discipline of civil engineering and it is one of the major disciplines. It deals with the application of scientific and engineering principles to improve and maintain our environment. Improving and maintaining the environment by means of protecting the human health, protecting the nature's ecosystem, and improving the environmental rated enhancements of the quality of human life. Now with a simple video, we could see what is environmental engineering. What is the first thing you think of when you hear the words environmental engineering? Save the trees? Save the fish? Recycling? Have you ever wondered what environmental engineers do? Environmental engineering is the study of the effect of human activities on the environment and the use of engineering principles to improve and maintain the environment. The United States Environmental Protection Agency has identified 10 issues of concern in this matter. Air, water, waste, land and cleanup, health and safety, climate change, green living and sustainability, emergencies, chemicals and toxins, and pesticides in agriculture. By focusing on these issues, environmental engineers improve and maintain the environment for the protection of human health and ecosystems. Me too? Yes, you too. To see how important environmental engineers are to our life, let's look at our own daily routine. When you wake up in the morning, what is the first thing you do? You wash your face, brush your teeth, and you use the restroom. To do all of these activities, you need clean water. Environmental engineers clean river water and groundwater to provide you with safe drinking water, which you use for all your activities throughout the day. What happens to that water that you use? In a day, each of us generates 265 to 375 liters of wastewater. All of that has to go somewhere, right? All this wastewater is sent to treatment plants near your house. Environmental engineers design these plants to clean millions of gallons of water each day in order to maintain water quality of rivers and oceans. Moving on. Now that you're dressed to go to school, you go to the kitchen and eat breakfast. You throw away any leftovers and trash, cereal boxes, wrappers, paper towels. Where does it all go? The trash you generate is collected from your house and is either recycled, composted, incinerated, or buried in the landfills. There are more than 3,000 landfills in the United States that are specially engineered to hold tons of solid and hazardous waste generated by people and industries so that toxic chemicals in the waste do not pollute the soil. Okay, let's go back to your morning routine one last time. You finish breakfast and you're ready for school. You get on the school bus. You may have noticed that buses spit out smoke when they run sometimes. The smoke contains gases such as carbon monoxide, carbon dioxide, which deteriorate air quality. The air quality in your city is monitored by environmental engineers. They also make technologies to take out a lot of the harmful chemicals from the smoke so that the air is healthy, safe, and breathable. Okay, so far we've talked about how environmental engineers affect our daily life. Clean water, clean air, and no waste. Are there other ways that environmental engineers help you? Of course! Remember that environmental engineers study anything that could affect the environment and try to make the environment better. 
In many places, the air, soil, and water is already filled with harmful chemicals that can hurt animals or humans. Environmental engineers use advanced technologies to research treatment methods to take these chemicals out of water, soil, and air to make the environment safer for humans and animals. Another way environmental engineers help people is by improving sustainability and researching alternate energy. They closely monitor the health of the environment and study the risk posed by any natural and industrial disasters to the environment. These are just some of the ways environmental engineers help protect public and ecological health. Think about your life. What are some ways you know environmental engineers help you? Now, I am sure you would have understand what is environmental engineering and what an environmental engineer does. Now, we shall see the need of artificial intelligence in environmental engineering. You have probably heard that artificial intelligence could be used to do lots of impressive tasks and jobs. It can help designers and artists make quick tweaks to visuals. AI can also help researchers identify the fake images or connect touch and sense. AI is being used to program websites and apps by combining symbolic reasoning and deep learning. Basically, artificial intelligence goes beyond deep learning. Artificial intelligence techniques are now used to monitor endangered species track diseases and optimize the crops but there is much more work to be done other than this the advances in artificial intelligence could be one of the solutions to solving global major environmental crisis from climate change to animal endangerment to disease containment as projects in each of these areas are already underway ai has been already applied to several environmental problems. Some examples are WildTrack uses a computer vision solution developed by SAS called Footprint Identification Technology to monitor endangered species non-invasively. The tool analyzes images of footprints of cheetahs, rhinos and other endangered, endangered species to identify them, track them, and determine what threatens them. Google has also used its own AI expertise to improve its energy efficiency as a company leveraging DeepMind's machine learning capabilities. It reduces the amount of energy needed to cool its data centers by 40%. AI applications also track mosquito populations to anticipate or prevent the spread of disease as well as weather changes, to warn populations about upcoming storms, etc. Water Water management Water is essential for life on this planet. In recent years, however, we have taken the resources for granted. Concerned by the sudden peak in the occurrence of droughts and other water scarcity situations in different parts of the world, scientists are looking for better, more robust ways to implement water resource management. Though the need of effectively managed water and its resources hasn't changed over the years, scientists have realized that they need to opt for a different approach for designing and maintaining the existing water management systems. By applying technologies like AI in water resource management, scientists are now building sustainable water supplies for people around the world. AI in water resource management The holy grail of technology, AI, is expected to bring in the trend of digital water. AI can continuously work with large amount of data sets tirelessly. The technology also learns on the go, improving itself with each set of data that it processes. 
This adaptability makes AI the best option to deal with an everyday altering entity like water. Digital water in simple terms is the water managed by data analytics, regression models and probabilistic algorithms. With such tech-driven trends that will enable water managers and government bodies to build sufficient water systems, the water networks across the world have a lot of transformation in store for them shortly. Building efficient water systems. Water managing bodies have two main tasks before them. The first task is to seek new sources of water due to the volatility of the resource and the second is to manage the existing water reserves and systems sustainably. Researchers are trying algorithms and programs to build water plants that can not only give updated statistics about the current status of a resource, but also help in building models for the future. Software-powered programs with sensors and neural networks strategize water operations dynamically and intelligently. Prediction models for future use of water robotic sensors in water disposal plants and blockchains for operating the financial transactions can all be made possible with the appropriate applications of AI techniques. Now, how could we optimize the current water resources with AI? According to statistics, about 1.2 billion people or one-fifth of the population across the world are living in areas of water scarcity while 500 million people are approaching this situation. Another 1.6 billion people are experiencing economic water shortage scenarios where they lack the infrastructure to have clean and portable water. With such statistics, the main focus is on the option of maximizing the current water resources. This optimization and automation can be obtained with the decision-making abilities of AI. The AI-driven planning enables the government bodies and water departments to understand the real-time water laws and misuse, design and execute comprehensive distribution networks, and implement maximum revenue as the financial agenda. The hybrid artificial intelligence models can help in improving the water systems across the world. Scientists and analysts must work together on a global level to contribute to the sustainable use of such a valuable resource. Access to our most precious resource is declining around the world, and the pressure to conserve it is building. By 2025, it's estimated that 66% of the world's population could suffer from water shortages, threatening human life and livelihood around the world. 20% of the global freshwater supply has been diminished by drought and climate change. Up to 34% of water supplied globally is lost due to leakages or unmetered diversion. And cyber attacks on water utilities are up by 60%, putting at risk the ability to provide one of our most critical resources. To create a future where everyone has the water they need, these challenges have to be addressed now. In a world where every drop is precious, Motorola Solutions Industrial Internet of Things is helping water and wastewater utilities drive more intelligent production and greater reliability. SCADA Intelligent Edge devices identify abnormalities like excessive pressure, equipment failure and leaks, and automatically lower temperature, pressure, or flow to prevent breakdowns limit damage to critical infrastructure, and minimize water loss. These solutions can also be customized for a variety of applications that improve operations. Sensors capable of machine-to-machine -machine communication monitor lakes, aquifers, and reservoirs, as well as water treatment facilities to ensure optimal water levels and to raise alarms when pollutant levels rise. Smart pumps automatically adjust based on water quality, energy costs, and reservoir volumes turning on boosters when needed, and reducing operation when possible to lower energy bills and extend equipment life. And data from everywhere shared across the secure, resilient, and expandable network of networks 
empowers analytics that operators can use to optimize workflows and resolve potential problems, like pipe bursts or sewer blockages. It's a whole new way of operating where facilities can be continuously monitored, processes can be automated and centrally controlled, problems can be immediately detected and resolved, data can be harnessed to make work safer and more productive, and water and wastewater utilities can transform the way they provide the essential resource the world depends on. Transform your water and wastewater enterprise with Motorola Solutions Industrial Internet of Things. The next topic we are going to see about artificial intelligence in waste management. The current waste management systems are unable to efficiently deal with the tons of garbage that is generated every day. Automating the process of garbage, sorting and disposal by switching to artificial intelligence for smart recycling and waste management is expected to bring in better disposable methods to recycle sustainably. Do you remember the plot of the popular movie Wall-E? where a robot tash compactors were deployed on Earth to clean the planet? Though set in the future, the movie brought to a notice the harsh environmental reality of today. With the generation of nearly 1.3 tons of waste every day, the application of robots and machines to manage this garbage is the need of the hour. The year 2011 saw a Finnish company Zen Robotics employ AI for smart recycling by managing waste using a robotic waste software. Combining computer vision, machine learning and artificial intelligence, the robots can synchronize trials to sort and pick recycled materials from moving conveyor belts. Since then, leveraging technology in the field of waste management has come a long way, refining itself over the years. Artificial intelligence in garbage disposal and smart recycling has been one of the successful process followed in many countries. In this process, artificial intelligence reads the tag to determine the type of garbage and sends it to the main server for the analysis. The main server compares the various garbage categories and picks an appropriate disposal or recycling method. Finally, safe disposal or cleaning recycling of the garbage is carried out. Now, we shall see a video how in Beijing, China, the smart waste management system has been processed. Beijing, the capital city of China, has over 21 million permanent residents. On average, each resident produces some 150 liters of wastewater every day. Water, 实际上它也影响着人的生存健康 According to Progress on Safe Treatment and Use of Wastewater, jointly released by the United Nations and the World Health Organization, among the 79 most high- and middle-income countries, excluding much of Asia and Africa, 59% of domestic wastewater was collected and safely treated. The untreated 41% posed risks to the environment and public health. Hence, urban wastewater treatment plays a vital role in preserving ecosystems and safeguarding human health. However, the smooth running of such plants remains a global challenge. Fu Wei, an engineer with Beijing Drainage Group Company Limited, still remembers an incident from the Spring Festival of 2012. <laughs> 但是基本上全场四十多个人吧，最原始的方式去把这些这个出去飘出去的泥给截留下来，几乎天天的是每天晚上是熬，通宵通宵的。How to deal with the uncertainties in wastewater treatment at real time? Professor Chiao Junfei with the Beijing University of Technology is a pioneer in applying smart control technology to urban wastewater treatment. 我们这个技术呢，可能它的主要特点和优势就是，我们是率先系统性的，然后基于人工智能和大数据的方式来解决这个水厂这个智慧用品。For example, a one million ton wastewater treatment plant 
is designed with the capacity to treat 1 million tons of wastewater. Currently, if it receives only 800,000 tons of wastewater, the control system will operate at its design setting by using the default amount of air and chemicals. With a smart control system invented by Dr. Chow's team, the plant can automatically modify the air and chemical input to match the amount needed for treating 800,000 tons of wastewater, thereby reducing energy and chemical consumption. In other words, the technology equips the wastewater treatment plant with a smart brain, enabling it to run smartly and efficiently. Results show that the plant reduced running cost by saving over 6% of electricity and over 10% of chemical agents. Since 2013, Beijing has carried out two action plans on wastewater treatment. The treatment percentage increased from 83 to 94 percent. By 2020, the figure should hit over 95 percent citywide with 99% in downtown area. This practice is an epitome of China's efforts to address urban wastewater treatment. According to the national planning, by the end of 2020, wastewater treatment facilities would be accessible nationwide. Urban wastewater treatment would hit 95%. In its 2030 Agenda for Sustainable Development, the United Nations has set a goal to ensure availability and sustainable management of water and sanitation for all. Together with the rest of the world, China is committed to creating harmony between humankind and environment. Because there is no substitute for the ecosystem. We hope to use the resources now to clean it up. 把我们这些资源最大程度的留给我们的后人。Waste sorting structures. Waste sorting structures have seen a transformation with the advent of RFID tags. Many foreign cities uses RFID tags to bucket the garbage generated under various tags. A pneumatic garbage disposal system then reads these tags accordingly. The primary server which stores all this data determines an appropriate method to dispose the total waste generated. A pictorial representation of this structure has been given here. And we should also now see a video depicting the smart waste sorting structures. Intelligent trash cans. 
Intelligent trash cans, which is equipped with AI programs and IoT sensors, is another revolutionary concept in the waste management sector. The sensors on these trash cans measure the waste levels of the garbage thrown inside them and send this data via intermediate servers to the main disposal system for processing. The system categorizes the data into the type of garbage the quantity of each type of garbage and the respective waste disposal method. This entire system can also refine itself over time by studying historical records to improve its efficiency. Garbage dumps. Garbage dumps have started using waste sorting robots. The automated intelligent machines are gradually replacing the traditional waste sorting methods. Proficient in multitasking, the robots can sort tons of garbage tirelessly in a day. These robots are highly autonomous with respect to their computer vision programs and can easily distinguish between a tin foil and paper. Such extensive systems have immense potential for applications in a wide range of industries. Now, we shall watch some videos regarding the smart applications of AI in waste management. topic we are going to see is about artificial intelligence in pollution control. As we could see, as the population increases, the pollution of land, air and water has been tremendously increasing and it is the role of every engineer to look into it. The next industrial revolution is already happening and artificial intelligence is ushering in an era of technologies that are faster, more adaptable, more efficient and making the world more digitally connected. How artificial intelligence can help us clean our land, air and water? Artificial intelligence is best described as complementary to human intelligence, delivering the computing power to crunch the numbers too big for people and recognize patterns too tedious for the human eye. In a Harvard Business Review study of 1,500 companies, it was found that the most significant performance improvements were made when humans and machines work together. As AI becomes one of society's greatest assets, it is especially helpful for solving problems that seem larger than life, like protecting our natural environment. Through machine learning, robotics, drones, and the Internet of Things, society can achieve better monitoring, understanding, and prevention of damage and stressors on Earth's land, air, and water. As 
the field of artificial intelligence develops, so will the potential to protect the environment. From the land and air to both drinking and ocean water, AI is shaping up to be the key that governments, organizations and individuals can tap to work toward a cleaner planet. Now we shall see the role of artificial intelligence in land. The earth's soil is under pressure from pollution, population growth, intensive farming and a host of other land usages. Its structure is not only compromised, that is one third of the earth's soil has been already degraded, but much of it is dangerously polluted, pesticide poisoning resulting in 3 million hospitalizations and 250,000 deaths around the world every year. As climate science and natural disaster prediction and recovery become more urgent, scientists are discovering the true potential of AI in the field. AI has the power to completely transform the agricultural practices to make them safer for the earth and people's health. Machine learning combined with robotics can provide automated data collection and decision making to optimize farming processes. These systems can interact directly with crops to detect and act on the best times to plant, spray and harvest, decreasing the need for the fertilizers and pesticides polluting the soil. This will make farming not only more efficient but it will also lead to more organic, earth-friendly crops. Similarly, AI monitoring can help societies protect areas of land rather than just farms. Ecosystems and habitats all over the world can benefit as well. The AI-enabled drones, for example, are providing new opportunities to observe and protect endangered areas. More effective plant disease detection poacher root prediction, erosion monitoring, species identification, and animal migration tracking are all a reality with AI. Now, we shall watch a video of how a future farming could be with the help of artificial intelligence. Here it is. Good morning, Terry. Main menu, weather. Welcome to John Deere Farm Site. Field order. Please prioritize. Work order. Confirmed. Alert. Irrigation.
irrigation system initiated. Incoming call. Hi, Terry. We're finishing up your planner service. It'll be ready today. Thanks, Sean. I really appreciate it. You got it. Message from Crop Advisor. New prescription transferred. Alert. Weather. Alert. Weather. Changing seed population. Files sent. Alert! Row Crop Tractor 14 has stopped. Message Dealer Technician ETA 32 minutes. Natural disasters. When it comes to natural disasters such as hurricanes, mudslides and wildfires, most people first think of safety and the direct impact on homes and other infrastructure. Beyond these immediate damages are long-term effects on the land such as the destruction of cropland and spreading of existing soil contamination. While no one can prevent these disasters, everyone from local governments to individuals can be better prepared to contain them. As climate science and natural disaster prediction and recovery become more urgent, scientists are discovering the true potential of AI in the field. For example, climate researchers have had the information needed to elevate their understanding of hurricanes for a long time. They just haven't had the tools ready. With AI, tech researchers have finally provided the science community with the computing power to crunch the data. It's been stalking for decades. This vast collection of data has served as the perfect training set for machine learning to make sense of it all and increase the performance of climate modeling. The role of AI in air pollution. 
Artificial intelligence can also provide the tools to better monitor pollution and identify sources of air quality issues faster and more accurately. In the case of a gas leak, for example, smart sensors equipped with machine learning and self-organizing mesh network technology allow for more targeted remediation. Governments, organizations and homeowners can not only deal with air contamination problems sooner and more effectively, but also achieve a greater understanding of them in order to implement more effective preventative measures. In addition to monitoring problems in the air, AI can also reduce the harmful emissions pumped into it in the first place. This is especially urgent because air pollution is already a dangerous global crisis. 91% of the world population lives in places that fail to meet World Health Organization's air quality guidelines. And why it may be easy to think of the consequences of this as a distinct problem. It is already killing 7 million people globally each year. One place to start with AI in air pollution control is with transportation. AI makes autonomous cars possible and helps them not only navigate but also do so as effectively as possible. Autonomous vehicles alone can enact a 2 to 4 percent reduction in oil consumption and related greenhouse gas emissions annually over the next 10 years according to a report by the Intelligent Transportation Society of America. And thanks to autonomous ride shares and dynamic bus routing that will exist in the future, there will be fewer cars on the roads in general. AI-enabled traffic lights will do their part too, adjusting to the flow of traffic to minimize driving time. Artificial intelligence will also make renewable energy technology like solar panels and wind turbines more efficient and cost-effective helping them to become universal and lower society's dependence on the fossil fuels polluting the air, then hopefully eliminate them altogether. Combined with the smart grid, another technology that will be enabled by AI, this will truly progress the way people receive and use electricity in their homes, offices and everywhere else. Smart meters save energy by allowing for two-way communication between the grid and anything that uses electricity, giving energy providers a better understanding of usage and the ability to make real-time adjustments for efficiency. Customers will benefit from the real-time data too. Seeing the increased costs at peak times will encourage them to voluntarily adjust their usage to save money. This will in turn save even more energy, a win-win. Plus, the process of delivering the energy itself will also be improved by the smart grid. AI in water pollution control. Healthy oceans, healthy planet was the theme of World Ocean Day 2016 for a reason. Earth's largest bodies of water are vital and are some of the best indicators of the planet's health. Based on their current conditions, things aren't looking good. Humans have polluted the oceans to dangerous levels with offshore drilling, cargo transport and trash. One garbage truck of plastic is dumped into the ocean every minute, amounting to 8 million metric tons of plastic annually. But AI is already coming to the rescue. The first effort expected to effectively start deconstructing the Great Pacific Garbage Patch is essentially an autonomous floating garbage truck powered by AI. This garbage truck was used to clean the garbage from the oceans by floating it on the water. In other oceans, machine learning is making it possible to flow marine litter in real time, enabling responses that are quick, targeted and more effective. The monitoring and predictive technology of machine learning can also help researchers understand the human actions and subsequent changing conditions that harm the oceans such as coral bleaching, illegal fishing, disease outbreak and industrial activities. 
Perhaps even more pressing is the urgent need to clean up and stabilize drinking water. The planet is running out of fresh water and much of what's left is dangerously polluted. Across the world, 1.8 billion people currently use a water source contaminated with waste according to the United Nations. Through both smart household meters and large infrastructures, AI can create greatly improve water and waste management systems to make it easier to monitor water quality, manage the usage and predict the maintenance needs. Further down the road, machine learning, IoT and blockchain combined have the potential to create truly decentralized water systems that operate on the close to recycling of local resources according to the World Economic Forum report. Such a system would be significantly optimized, helping to keep drinking water clean and plentiful. Finally, artificial intelligence is shaping up to be one of the society's most helpful tools. With it, we can start making significant amends with our land, air and water and clean it up for a healthier planet. I hope you would have got an idea about artificial intelligence and its applications in environmental engineering. Think smart, act smart, save our future, save our planet. It is in your hands. Thank you.